the problem which our unit has been concentrating on is trying to understand why when biventricular pacing is done, why there are a number of people who do not respond to biventricular pacing. And obviously the therapy fails in probably around a third to 40% of the patients when this is attempted. Um, and, and it's a matter of trying to understand why these patients do not respond. And there are patients who are, are at the end stages of disease, and when they're at the end stages of disease, they will obviously not have enough myocardial reserve to be able to respond to the problem. But in others, it's simply a matter of getting the lead into the correct space. And, and, and the, the, one of the issues which we discussed was to try and find parts of the ventricle where there is not scarring and where you achieve the best resynchronization of the ventricle and trying to have strategies and methodologies which will allow you to place the lead in the correct position and also trying to understand where pacing upon this lead there are different types of lead which are available now and these multipolar leads will help you pace in different sites to try and achieve a better effect so the whole um, drive, uh, I think, is to try and see whether we can get a better response in these patients. And another way of trying to do that is to optimize the patient once the lead has been put in place and try and get a better effect from that.